this video we're going to quickly demonstrate how you can fix a Breville toaster um, that's got the problem of you being able to press the levers down but they don't stay down. So press this down when it's connected to the mains the heating elements come on um, but the, the lever just comes back up. It's a problem that's generally associated with the cleaning of the machine but you have to do a bit more than just remove the trays. So on this one I've removed the trays they were totally caked in breadcrumbs, um, gave the machine a bit of a shake, that freed up a lot of the crumbs, got rid of a hell of a lot of crumbs, um, but then it doesn't actually solve the problems because those crumbs weren't really causing any problem. Um, I'll show you, come, there's two stages to the process really. Uh, the first, well, first thing, obviously disconnect the machine from the mains because we're going to be looking at the inside of the machine so we don't want it anywhere near the power so switch the power off unplug the mains um, flip the machine up back on its side so this one in particular we're looking at is the VT476 but the process is going to be the same or similar on pretty much any toaster these um, have got a lot of screws on you don't have to take them all out to get to the crucial bit so I've taken three screws out in total um, from here and then these two at the side I've left other ones in because you only need to get to the key um, point of the toaster which is basically these the two sensors down here so there and there and when these levers are pushed down it's basically a so you can't see it normally when you push a lever down there's a plate there and that's the same on the other side that they push these little pins here you can see that going down and then connect with this sensor here. What's happening with mine is this is totally covered in breadcrumbs um, and a bit of dust as well. So what you can do is taking a flathead screwdriver, um, again making sure the machine's not connected to the mains. Tilt it like that, you should be able to see it better. Basically, I just scraped along here got rid of all the loose breadcrumbs, all the stuck on breadcrumbs, all the dust, give it a blowout, um, get rid of any trace of anything that's on the way. And then on these plates here, so the ones from the lever, I just actually gave those a, you could brush them off maybe with a clean paintbrush, but freed up any loose crumbs that were on there. And then one of the key things is, when you drop the casing back into place, just make sure there's no the cables and wires are all tucked away so you're not a you're making sure that this part is clear you're not trapping any cables when you put the case back in place but when you push these levers down obviously that area needs to be free for the plate to move down um, when you're happy with it that you think you've cleaned it enough i wouldn't bother screwing the cases back on yet you just want to make sure you've done sufficient amount of cleaning so we've basically connected that one back into the mains. That one works, so that's been held down in place. I can feel the heated element come on, and then this one works as well. So I'm really chuffed with that, because that one's not been working for ages, but I kind of just ignored it, because I've still got this bit of the toaster, and this one went yesterday. Um, so then disconnect that from the mains again, and that's, um, that's that sorted. Um, so then just remember, obviously, when you've disconnected it from the mains again, screw your casing back on and that should be you ready to go okay thanks for watching